why your stomach makes noises, and how to stop it. There's nothing more embarrassing than your stomach growling at an inopportune moment. Maybe you're supposed to present a project at work, but everyone's distracted by the racket coming from your gut. You might think a snack will make it stop, but the solution isn't always to reach for food. Keep watching to learn why your stomach growls and how you can quiet down your belly monster once and for all with these eight helpful tips. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the bright side of life. A loud growling stomach can seem to have been designed for the sole purpose of embarrassing you in front of other people. Sometimes, just when you think the rumbling is over and you can save face, it comes back to wreck your social situation. Though it can make you want to bury your head in the sand until your stomach quiets down, the good news is that a loud stomach is usually benign and easy to fix. Before you learn how to stop it, let's start by understanding why your stomach is so loud in the first place. Abdominal sounds are more common during digestion. During this time, the small and large intestines are hard at work processing food and contracting, so it's natural for them to make noise. Peristalsis is the digestive process in which your muscles contract and relax while food is being moved to different processing areas in your digestive tract. For some, that process can get pretty loud and can even occur a long time after eating, even in the middle of the night. So if you're trying to find the culprit, you guessed it. Peristalsis is often responsible for rumbling stomach sounds. If your stomach's still being loud when you thought you'd defeated it, you can scream to your belly. Curse you, peristalsis! Though it's a mouthful, it might make you feel better. Peristalsis is present not only when you digest, but also when your stomach is empty and telling you to eat. Have you ever noticed how your stomach's growling is louder when it's empty? That's because it works like an echo. An echo is more pronounced in an empty room, and it might not be heard at all in a room with a lot of furniture. That's how your stomach can be. The emptier the stomach, the louder the growl, because there are no contents to absorb the sound. If the only thing you experience is loud sounds, there's not much to worry about. But if in addition to noise comes gas, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, fever, and more unpleasantness, that can point to an underlying condition, and it's best that you visit a doctor. Common underlying conditions are irritable bowel syndrome, food allergies, food intolerance, and intestinal blockages. If you don't suffer from any condition, what can you do about all the ruckus? Silencing your stomach can involve a bit of trial and error, but one of these tips is bound to do the trick. Number 8. Go for a walk after a meal It doesn't need to be a long walk. You can squeeze one in during a break from work. 15 minutes of light exercise is all you need to get your digestion going. A 2008 study conducted at the University Hospital of Heidelberg found that walking after a meal was more successful than other presumed methods of aiding digestion, like drinking coffee, because it makes the food move through the stomach faster. Remember to keep the exercise light. Doing strenuous exercise after a meal will only have you rushing back home with nausea. Number 7. Drink plenty of water. Water will fill up your belly and help the digestive process. Drink it during or after a meal to make your digestion smoother. But don't gulp it down all at once. The goal is to get a silent stomach, and gulping will only leave you with a gurgling sound every time you move. There are different opinions about how much water you should drink, but a safe option is to shoot for about 8 glasses of water a day. Number 6. Try some herbal tea. Brew your favorite flavor of tea from these options – ginger, chamomile, peppermint, dandelion root, and fennel. These teas are known to help digestion, and they'll relax your intestinal muscles so the contraction caused by peristalsis isn't so pronounced. Chamomile is great at soothing stomach cramps. Ginger helps reduce bloating and allows the body to absorb nutrients more effectively. Number 5. Take your time when you chew. You might be wondering what chewing has to do with your digestion. The digestive process begins in your mouth, so how you chew will determine how much work your digestive system has to do. Minimal chewing might be acceptable in a hot dog eating contest, but if you are regularly in the habit of gulping food down and barely chewing it, your digestive system will have a really hard time processing the food. And this will lead to stomach rumbles. When you chew slowly, the food has a chance to mix fully with your saliva, which breaks down carbohydrates and softens food so that it can head down the esophagus. Break food down in your mouth to give your gut less work. Number 4. Avoid gas-heavy foods Gas is also responsible for those loud stomach noises that you think your next-door neighbor can hear. 
When the gas inside your intestines is causing you discomfort, it's called borborygmi. Be mindful because sometimes even healthy foods like beans and raw vegetables can cause a bloated tummy and produce gas. Here are some common foods to watch out for. Fruits, broccoli, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, lentils, corn, potatoes, products with lactose, and sodas. People with lactose intolerance who consume dairy can expect a lot of gas to build up in their abdomen. Eating with your mouth open and talking while eating will also leave you with a belly full of air, aka gas. The best way to discover which foods put your stomach in a talkative mood is to keep a food journal for a week and experiment. Number 3. Slow down when you eat. Do you usually find yourself with an empty plate while your dinner companions have barely begun to eat? If so, you're constantly making your digestive system work overtime. When you eat slowly, you give your system more of a chance to properly digest food and prepare itself by secreting acid, getting ready for peristalsis. This might seem obvious, but it can be hard to keep it in mind when you're back from the gym and starving. Besides, eating quickly can also have you swallowing air as you bring food into your mouth, adding loud gas to your belly. It won't only affect your digestion, it's also likely that you'll overeat and be at a higher risk of gaining weight. Number 2. Try Garlic Garlic has a component called allicin. It's believed that this chemical can help people with gastritis, which has been known to cause a rumbling stomach and can lead to loud belching. Allicin allegedly helps by lowering stomach inflammation. Eat a raw piece of garlic first thing in the morning to help your digestion. In addition, according to the Mayo Clinic, almost 50% of the world's population have the Helicobacter pylori bacteria, or H. pylori, present in their stomachs, though most of them won't show symptoms or adverse effects. A study published in 1999 in the Journal of Antimicrobial Chemotherapy showed that allicin was a potent antibacterial component helpful in flushing out the H. pylori infection. If you don't consume garlic regularly, take it easy at first, add it to your diet slowly. Some people might discover that garlic actually causes them stomach discomfort or that they are allergic to garlic. Number 1. Eat Sometimes the answer can be very simple. If your stomach is growling and you haven't eaten, all you need is some food. To prevent the noises, remember to eat regularly. If you aren't at home, make sure you carry a snack to appease your grumbling tummy. Remember these tips to prevent your stomach from ever embarrassing you again and help it quiet down if it gets too loud. If you've been following these recommendations to the letter and your stomach continues as loud as ever, it's time to visit a doctor. Getting tests like a CT scan, blood tests, or endoscopy can help you find the cause of your abdominal nuisance. So tell us, Brightsiders, how often does your stomach growl in a day? Let us know in the comments.